This is a brief tutorial on how to do some unit testing in the NetBurner. I'm using unit test plus plus almost by default. It was one of the few that I could get to build without an inordinate amount of effort. So it, it's at unit test cpp sourceforge.net. And you can get to the, you don't need to get to the source code. But all the links are down here if you want to go build it yourself. But I it took a little bit of time. I had to clean up some things. So I uh, created a NetBurner project and compiled and then created a library and then put all the source code over there. So that'll be available. So there's the library. And then here's all the include files that are needed right there. So these are the steps once you have that folder um, to get going on a test. Clean up Eclipse. We'll start from scratch. Say we'll go new project. Pick a NetBurner device executable. I'm actually going to run my tests in the NetBurner because test like you fly, fly like you test. And uh, let's just, um, I have a library called Command Parser. And let's just take that and uh, set up some tests for it. And next. Uh, next is fine. Let me go ahead and find our. NetBurner out there and say OK. Next, let's let auto update for convenience uh, and let's allow smart trapping. Finish. OK, so now we've got a basic NetBurner project, but we need to uh, reference our new tool. So you need to come down to properties, and there's actually several things that need to be done here. Um, the tool uses exceptions. Um, so for your test program only, you'll have to turn on exceptions you want for your real build that you're going to distribute. But that is done under, I believe it's under miscellaneous. Okay, where it says no exceptions, we're going to turn that off. And then we want to include the directories. So let's come here and you put this folder anywhere you want on your file system, so then just navigate to it. There's where mine is, and I want the include. Okay, so now your C++ compiler has a path to the include, and now you just need to tell your linker where the library itself is. So come in here, click add, do the same navigation and this time you're just going to get that .a file click open click OK click OK and now you're ready to write a test now typically you'd probably create new files for this but let's just do let's just make sure everything's working let's um open the file. Let's include our new include. Um, there it is. Unit tests. Now to create a test in unit test plus plus you use a it's macro driven so there's a macro called test and you give your test a name and then you would do whatever you need to do test and in this case we're just going to call the check macro with false, so this should fail. Just a quick way, and then we want to launch that test. So then we say, okay, nothing shows up. Let's rebuild our index. Um, Sometimes Eclipse and a little funky, so I don't know why it didn't show up till now. Maybe it was indexing in the background. But so there's our unit test, and then it's run all tests, and everything that's been registered with the test macro will then automatically run. Let's compile that. That's fine, and it, I'm sure it built. Okay, and let's now go conf create a configuration. automatically sets everything up for us correctly. 
run configuration and let's just say run and then let me bring my MTTY window up here to the front it's a little bit big Emperor's booting oh, too slow you didn't get to see it happen but okay so we can see it booted and it's telling us on line 18 we failed a test and test is called my first name and it came out first or it came out false I meant to call that my first test and uh, one test failed so the test frameworks in place and it's all working